I'm just going to go over what annual equivalent rate calculations are like and uh, before we do this you need to be familiar uh, with working between decimals and percentages what is 13% as a decimal or what is 0 0.05 as a percentage if you're happy with that then we can have a look at this so in the red box we've got the um, formula to find annual equivalent rate R is the AER and this is a formula that will be on your formula sheet so you don't need to memorize it and uh, we've got these uh, other two letters in the formula I and N first of all we're going to uh, do an example to find out nominal rate so that's our letter I in the formula <coughs> and in our example uh, we're told that 1% interest is credited every six months what is the uh, nominal rate so nominal rate is just how much interest you get if we ignored uh, the amount of interest that you get part way through the year so to work out uh, I you need to start with saying how many um, times per year does this take place so six months times by two makes one year and so we do the same calculation apply it to the interest that we're gaining every six months we get one percent by two so that is our nominal amount two percent we're going to use this to work out our RAER before we do let's have a look at the nominal rating example two <coughs> here we've got uh, interest being credited every week So to turn it into a year, we need to multiply by 52. Do exactly the same thing to the interest to find the nominal rate. And there we have our nominal rate. Let's go on now and find the annual equivalent rate. Uh, what this formula does is it changes the nominal rate into uh, the actual rate by taking into account the extra interest that is earned during the course of the year. So to use this formula, we need to know I, just work that out. We need to know N, the number of times per year interest is credited. And that's our value here, too. So I equals uh, two percent. We need that as a decimal, and n is two. So we can calculate r. equals 0.0201 so that's it as a decimal to convert it into a percentage that is 2.01 percent back to example two what's the AER well again we need to know I we've worked it out here so that's what uh, what's that as a decimal n how many times per year is interest credited it's this number here so we can calculate R So 
So onto your calculators. And R equals 0.09, which is there it is a, as a percentage. And so what we find what we find is our AER is just slightly more than the uh, nominal rate because we're including the amount credited during the year. So it's just a bit extra.